Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dr. Prasit Prapimongkol Khan, who is Professor Emeritus for the Chulankon University for the Faculty of Engineering uh, in Thailand. Dr. Prasit, thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio today. With great pleasure that I can join this studio. Now, this year we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the ITU development sector. The ICT landscape obviously has changed tremendously in these past decades. How do you think that this study on ICT for SDGs, which uh, you have been involved with, uh, will contribute to responding to many of today's challenges? Well, the landscape of development has been changing quite a lot. You can see this world is facing uh, certain things. The first thing is poverty and hunger. Second thing is uh, maybe some political crisis. Third thing is uh, how can we sustain the development I'm sure when people are well-being, the peace is there. Otherwise, there'll be chaos. Yes. And in doing that, it's the first time for ITU to work with United Nations to go on that 17 susten sustainable development goals. And this is very important for mankind, for the people to survive in this planet. Otherwise, it becomes a chaos place for people to live in. Now, there have been several studies and debates on how ICTs are key enablers to economic growth and innovation. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about the main outcomes of this study uh, and its added value to the existing discussions, and specifically its contribution to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Yes, in my responsibility, I'm given uh, chapter 4 of the book and mainly responsible for government policy and for sustainable development and innovation. In this chapter, we have tried to tell the government what they should do to make it an uh, ICT-enabled society or knowledge society. In that respect, we think that we should keep them some policy recommendations, as well as some action and strategies. ICT should be inclusive in everywhere, including rural areas where rural business still need the ICT in inclusive. The reason is like that. If they want to be more uh, well-being, they need to use ICT as a tool for them to earn more income living, otherwise it stay in poverty or in very low income level. This is one thing. Secondly, as a nation, if you do not try to develop all area of people, there are disparity of income. And when the disparity income is widened, there will be chaos. In certain countries, you can see it. Yeah. This is a thirdly. As uh, Thailand is also a country in this world community, we will see that when our people can build up some knowledge, that knowledge dissemination should be done. So that, for instance, I may cite for a last example, when our King Lama the nice, the most respected, lovely king passed away, he left so many things, and then uh, one thing is the, uh, what we call it, uh, sufficiency economy. And so many countries like Laotian and other countries also imitated it. So this kind of knowledge, I do hope that the developed country has so many, many experience to offer to developing countries and should be generated to give them to ICT and urban environment. Well, we thank you very much for sharing these uh, brief insights with us. We look forward to the outcomes of the report and uh, thank you very much indeed for your contribution to it. Thank you very much indeed for your kind interview. Mm -hmm.